So welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up an easy breeder for profit tank. We know how expensive the hobby is, so if we can make a few dollars along the way to help pay for some things. Why not? So I have a 55 gallon aquarium that we're going to be turning into this breeder for profit tank. We're going to be using mystery snails, bristle nose plecos, and guppies. These are the three easiest things to put in one tank and breed and get maximum production. All you need is water and food. And these things will just breed. And you'll be able to trade them in for maybe some different fish, get some store credit, or make a few dollars along the way. So we're going to go ahead and get everything set up. You guys will learn how to set the tank up um, to not only make it look good, but be productive for you. So that's what we're working on today. So let's get into it. This is the tank that we're going to be working on today. As you can see, I have a few plants in here already that we're going to be using for this build. I also have our mystery snails that we're going to be using. These are some gold mystery snails. You can choose any type of snails you want. You can mix all your different colors if you want and breed them that way. I normally like to keep things pretty much species only. I bred them in the past and they seem to do well in my water. These are the fish that we're going to be using. These are my grass guppy. You can see we have two fat females, probably like 50 babies already in here. So all these guys are going to get moved to that tank as well. And then I already had caught all my bristle nose plecos and they are all ready in their cage, ready to go. So now it's time to scape this tank a little bit because I want it to look good. Just because you set up a breeding tank, I mean, it can't look good. So let's scape it a little bit and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get these fish in here. I went ahead and just put the mystery snails in already because they've been in that bag for a little minute. Now, as far as breeding the mystery snails, it's really easy. Um, you wanna lower the water level just a little bit, maybe like an inch or so. And what the snails are gonna do, the females are going to come out the water and they're going to lay their egg sacs on either the top of your lids, under the trim of your aquarium, or anywhere they can get out. Sometimes on the filter, outside of the filter, they'll lay them up there. Um, and then after a few days, the eggs will just fall back. Well, the baby snails will just fall back into the aquarium. Um, so that's pretty much how you breed mystery snails. It's really easy. You just got to make sure you have some calcium in the water for these guys and feed these guys. And they will breed, especially if you get some nice females. So I got seven of them. So hopefully we got some females and maybe I'll go pick up some more down the line. But just one or two mystery snails can give you hundreds and hundreds of babies. So you really don't need a lot of them to get started. Now, the first thing I want to focus on is the plecos. The plecos are going to be pretty much stationary right here in the middle of the aquarium because I want to be able to monitor them and be able to see them. Now, a lot of these plecos are already in the caves. I couldn't get them out. Uh, so they already in here. So, oh well. If you see, we have the circle caves, we have the triangle ones, and we have the square ones. And they like different types. So I try to give them some different types of caves um, so that way they will be more comfortable to breed. I've done this before when I had a bino and regular brown bristle nose plecos in the same tank and I got tons of babies. So I was having some albinos and I was also having some brown. So uh, I just mix them up. That's a nice meal right there. The next step is now I want to add some plants to it because why not? It needs to look good. It can't just be just bland. So we got a bunch of crypts. I'm going to go through and plant a lot of these guys. And then after I get all the plants planted, we'll start getting the guppies in here and adding all the final touches to make this thing do what it do. So stick around. So now let me show you guys something with these crypts. If you guys know when you buy like potted plants, kind of like similar to those over there, they come in the pots and they be have this like, I guess like mesh around them. What I have found that has been working for me is I leave the mesh on here and I just plant this right into the substrate. This came out of some different tanks. And as you can see, look at the root structure and growth on these guys, sending off runners. Now, because crypts are notorious for melting whenever they are moved to different waters. Um, so this has been working for me. So maybe you can try it in your aquarium.
So I finally got all the guppies into the tank. Once it's staying clear, if you guys would be able to see them, I added the final piece, and this is for the guppies. I put some hornwort in here. You can use guppy grass, or there's tons of different floating plants out there, but I like hornwort because it serves different purposes. One, it helps filter the water. It sucks out all the nitrate out of the water, so that way you can have crystal clear water. It also gives hiding places for the fry. It's also going to create oxygen in the water as well. Uh, which is going to be beneficial for the aquarium and the fish and everything so this thing will eventually take over this whole tank and i'll just be able to propagate it and move it back to other aquariums but we got everything situated i'm gonna let these guys settle in and i'll pick the camera back up once this thing is looking crystal clear so stay tuned so it's been about 24 hours since i originally set this tank up and as you can see this tank is looking crystal clear it has cleared up so much the fish are out the tank is looking good. You can see all little plecos. They didn't took over pleco paradise. That's what I'm calling that pleco paradise now. So that's a new name. So they didn't took over that. They loving it. The snails are all around the tank exploring. And I'm glad I got the snails in here because they're going to help keep the algae down and keep it clean up. We got the hornwater in here looking good. We got all our guppies in here looking good. And I can't wait to see how this tank produces over the next 30 to 60 days. And hopefully you guys can replicate this in your aquarium and earn a few dollars along the way. Whether you want to take them to a pet store, sell them online, or maybe sell them locally to some people that you might know. So hope you learned something. I'm going to give you guys an update on some more tanks down here in the fish room. And we're going to get up out of here. And I don't think I had gave you guys an update on this tank yet, but I went ahead and left my red hump geos in here. And I added a few little plants in this little piece of driftwood to give it a little bit of life until I make my next move with it. But that is going to be pretty much it for today's video. I'll definitely keep you guys updated on the progress of this tank. You guys will see it a lot over the next 30 to 60 days. You'll be able to see how many fish will accumulate in that time. So can't wait to see the progress and can't wait to show you guys. So I hope you learned something today. And if you did, man, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when I drop more videos.